Yes, you rehearse it, and you rehearse it, and you re-rehearse it, and you rehearse it again. And the trick is when the camera turns after all those weeks, days of rehearsals, you're doing it for the first time. That's what you want the audience to believe. And with Patrick, it's just, it's like landing on a big safety net. He's just so assured and so professional and so fit too, by the way. So it's, it, it, it became something really, really enjoyable. Sometimes you do these fights and you're with someone who might be a little bit tense if it's a fellow actor and you can get hurt in those yeah, situations. It's very easy to get hurt. I mean, I think also when you're talking about confined spaces, and we got a great stunt team too, that, that's unbelievable. And and and, uh, and that that seamless transition from actor to stuntman is always one that that is that can be very difficult. So you you know we're very fortunate to have some great guys working, teaching us and working with us. Um, but when you're in a confined space, you 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 have to. Uh, it's it really is a dance. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and and you, you you have to have a great partner, and that is that is extremely true. And thank you for that. But 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 this guy is just the best at it, and it's so much, and and it, and it makes it much more exciting. And and it, and it sh you should feel safe. You know, there's nothing worse. Maybe that's just also the stage training and love for both of us. That you, when you do something eight times a week, you better believe it better be. And of course, you have to make it feel like the first time every time. But you you don't have. I, I don't ever want to hear, sorry man, that punch got away from me. Like, I have no time for that, <laughs> you know? So you, you, you've got to find that, you want them to feel comfortable, and that's, and that's you know, obviously what we have. It's funny because I have a house upstate New York, and I know this train. <laughs> yeah. I've been on it maybe 80 times over the past 22 years. So here we were, and it's, a, yeah. in our story, it's seven carriages. We shot it, of course, it's a movie, so it had to be, it was shot on a built carriage, carriage and a half, in a studio in Pinewood Studios in London. I've done four movies with John and I, and that's why I love the guy so much. His preparation for picking shots, making shots interesting, on one carriage, on one set, for three months, up to three months, telling a story, cranking up the tension, uh, I honestly don't know how he does it yeah. without without showing off with the camera. Some directors like to, right. to show all these pyrotechnics and you think, wow, look what that camera was able to do. Jama doesn't. He's always there to serve the story. You know? right. Right. And um, I did another picture with him nonstop. Again, we were in a metal tube and one set and the cameras, what he was able to do with the cameras and the rigs right. he invented, again, not to show off to show the characters and develop the story, you know. He's quite something else, this guy. <coughs> Who are you, Come down. Why are you following me? Are you the reason they're searching passengers? you know.